お前らこの依頼ステップとリーダーが受けてやる。Meet Soldat Heckler. Wait, are you sure about Heckler? Really? That's hilarious. I cannot emphasize on how much of a bro this guy turned out to be. Hands down, Volume 7, aka Depressed Magician Arc, the best character. So he's the leader of an S rank adventuring party called Stepped Leader and a member of the prominent Thunderbolt clan. Those honestly sound like how a foreigner would come up with an English name. Ah,、oh, yes, I like this name. So that says Hardcock. Yes, perfect for my kindergarten. This clan holds considerable power and influence in the Northern Territories. Not much is currently known about his background. Soldat has an aggressive, mocking personality, often making disparaging comments towards others. He's quick to anger and never hesitates to confront someone verbally or physically. Basically, a douchebag, but beneath his rough exterior, Soldat actually cares deeply for his fellow members and his clan. He looks out for newcomers like Rudius in his own tough, blunt way. Soldat hates seeing wasted potential or people just acting pathetic. He tries to provoke others to bring out their strength. He gives frank advice when it's truly needed. He patiently guided a drunken Rudius and showed keen emotional insight about his trauma and healing. In terms of looks, He's tall, muscular, and everything that you would expect a swordsman to be. He likely has some battle scars from his adventures. Soldat has blonde hair and this permanent scowl that makes him look angry or irritated all the time. He dresses practically for battling monsters, wearing light armor that allows the freedom of movement along with a sword. Soldat's fighting abilities are elite. He uses the Sword God style at an advanced level, and he's an intermediate in the North God style. Although it's not like Ghislaine, it's more than enough for him to be an S rank adventurer and hold his own against fearsome monsters. Mushoku Tensei follows the story of Rudius, where he encounters people who are literally Godzilla level again and again. So it's easy to dismiss someone who's just an advanced level swordsman like Paul or Soldat. However, his skill allowed him to defeat many snow drakes effortlessly, which are S rank monsters. They're docile but will fight back when they're threatened. Their scales are resistant to ice magic, so are very useful materials during winter time. He's honed his combat abilities and instincts through countless battles in dangerous labyrinths across different quests. He can analyze opponents for weaknesses and advises newbies like Rudius about carefully observing enemy attack patterns. Soldat's wisdom comes from real world experience, not just book smarts. He's both respected and feared by his party for his strength. His fellow members support him loyally. Soldat initially despised Rudius for his weak attitude, but witnessing Rudius' s complete breakdown compelled him to offer guidance. Their bond grew via drinking and straight talk. Soldat became invested in helping Rudius heal and improve as a person. His guidance was harsh but insightful, proving that he cared in his own way. Despite limited screen time, Soldat plays a pivotal role in Rudius' character arc. He forces Rudius to confront his trauma and mistakes head on through violent provocation. His crude advice about sex and emotional healing proves surprisingly wise, getting to the core of Rudius' s issues. He helps steer Rudius toward a healthy mindset and recovery. Without Soldat's intervention, Rudius might have wallowed in self pity indefinitely or may have even committed suicide. His involvement is a major turning point in Rudius' s coming of age journey in a positive way. Not to mention how Bro stopped Rudius from committing suicide within a split second. Once again, one of the bestest bros that we've ever seen in Mushoku Tensei so far.